Hi, I'm Will Sutherland. And I'm Sabrina, and welcome to our tiny treehouse. Like most kids, I loved to build forts growing up, and a treehouse was a long-term goal. It was something I dreamt about all the time. I even tried to build one as a kid. It ended up just being a couple boards up in a tree, and those boards are still in that tree, by the way, so it's very, it lasted a long time. <laughs> He's a builder. He took me out into the yard and showed me this spot with the rocks and the trees and said, I'm gonna build a tree house here. And I didn't have the opportunity to do that until I was furloughed from my job during the pandemic. I just kind of made an initial investment of the treehouse attachment bolts, which were 600 bucks, so I knew if I bought these, it pretty much means that I'm definitely going to build a treehouse. And I paid for it almost entirely because I sold my commuter car from my job, which I was eventually laid off from. So it was sort of a full circle of things that happened and ended up with this treehouse. At first, we just wanted to build it for fun, and then we realized, wow, this is something that everyone's gonna wanna enjoy. Our friends and neighbors were reaching out, can we stay in the treehouse, can we stay in the treehouse? And um, then when I started to list it on Airbnb, it just continued to book, and we were booked almost a year in, year in advance on the weekends. When you're up in the treehouse, you're about 30 feet up in the air. You're looking out these huge windows. There's windows on all sides, so you have a 360 view. A cute little kitchen, and you have your queen bed, and that's got a little loft over it for kids. And it's just everything you need in a very small 164 square foot space. Our biggest challenge was getting everything in the trees. <laughs> Actually, there was a time when we rented a lift that we could use to put the siding on the tree house. All the green siding. All the green siding. And it was an ice storm, pretty much, and freezing rain, like cutting this metal, attaching it, putting it up, and it was just the probably the worst working environment I've ever been in. Yeah, and but then, we had to do it because we had rented yeah, we had the lift for that few, weekend. Yeah, at one point we were carrying the windows up the steps and we almost were to the top and Sabrina, she literally went down like on all fours and I had the balance of this six foot by four foot window, double pane, super heavy. Like I had the balance left and right and it was sitting on her shoulders in the front <laughs> and she just had to crawl the rest of the way. And it was like, of course, at that moment, a breeze came and like, we're both thinking to ourselves, this could be it. Like, we're gonna drop these windows. This is gonna be like the worst thing that ever happened. And I mean, fast forward to when the treehouse was finished, we've had storms now with like 80 mile an hour gusts. It's designed to allow the trees to continue growing. It's designed to allow the trees to move up to six inches at a 10 foot height, which an old growth tree, especially a hickory, it, it's, it's not, not it's not budging. The first night that we stayed in the treehouse, we had yet to install curtains and it was snowing. And the snow outside with the full moon, it just felt like we were sleeping on a cloud. And it illuminated the whole room. It illuminated the whole room and behind us at the headboard, there's windows there. And it just felt like I was literally elevated, at like, I don't know, fl floating up in the air. It really did. So we each brought some skills to the interior design. Will's style is wood. Yes. Wood everything. Yeah. <laughs> Live edge everything. My style would be the color aspect. I wanna add bright pops of color, make it fun. She had just as much input and uh, she deserves just as much credit for the tree house as I do, for sure. I always go to her for affirmations. The trees are fine, they're healthy. <laughs> she is actually a certified arborist. I was working in vineyards here in Virginia and I just got tired of working with grapes and I said, I, I gotta branch out. I need to, am I gonna go into trees or am I gonna be a flower farmer? I don't know. Well, I'm still young and able-bodied. I wanna learn how to use a chainsaw. I'm gonna be an arborist. <laughs> She became a wildlife firefighter first, and then she decided that she wanted to just work on tree health. But her feedback on the health of the trees was instrumental to whether or not I would build the tree house to begin with. I know some people will wonder where the shower is and where the toilet is. If there is an outhouse, which is perfectly cool, it even has a chandelier on the inside. It's like building a super, super tiny house that just has a bathroom in it. <laughs> I guess. We rented an excavator to dig the hole and uh, is about six feet. It's called the pit and it's lined with uh, treated lumber 
to maintain its uh, structure so it doesn't fill in. And then the, the outhouse is placed over top of that, sitting up above the ground slightly so that water doesn't rush down into the pit. And then there's a vent tube that allows the odors to escape and it breaks down naturally. Our human waste is like 80% uh, water. water. So sometimes I'll peek in there and make sure everything is, is not filling up, but here we are a year in and it's hardly shows any signs of being used even. It's done, it's done very well. People love the outhouse. We've actually had guests say that their favorite part of staying in the treehouse was experiencing the outhouse. Really? And I think it's because they were so intimidated by it at first, but then once they they were in there and they realized that it's like pretty cool and it's like normal, it's not a big deal. They walked away from that knowing that, okay, outhouses are cool. And there's not, because if anybody <laughs> should be judging a place to use the restroom, it should be the porter potties that get criticized the most, not outhouses. It is cold in the winter. Yeah, it is a little cold. I would encourage readers to be brave with their ideas and don't be afraid to research it and make it happen and make it come to life because if you have time and you have, if you're excited enough about doing something, it's possible. Home to me is a space where you can retreat to and reset and just like rejuvenate yourself and, and really just like touch home base. The home to me is a place where you're surrounded by the people that you love and you're, you're inside something that was built with love and is maintained and cared for with great love. So the treehouse, I know for a fact, um, it, it is that in its entirety. Cut. Done. <laughs>